what? Not enough lead in your bullet? I'll show you a good time. Come here, babe. Is that a gun? What are you with? I'll sh give me a Is that a gun? Getting for? I'll show you a good time. Give me a bullet. Is that a gun in your pocket? What? Come here. What are you? I'll sh give me a Is that what? I'll sh Oh, hi there, big hairy black man. What seems to be the problem? Oh my, it seems that you're getting a lot of lag when you're playing high resolution video games. Well, no worries, no need to get a new computer. All you have to do is upgrade your video card. It's a device that controls all of the graphics and video processes on your computer. A video card is also known as a GPU. Graphics Processing Unit. No need to worry, fatty. I'll help you buy a graphics card and install it. Here on the Epic Guide to Graphics Cards. Step 1. Every geek on the face of this planet knows if he wants the best graphics card, he's gonna have to shell out a hell of a lot of money. Because good shit don't come cheap, baby. So head over to your bank, empty out your account, and let's go get you that video card. Wait, what? You don't have any money on your account? How could that be? Black people always have gold jewelry and still stuff. You should be balling right now. Oh well, looks like we have to wait to get your cash. Hmm, do you have a job? Do you have any friends that have a lot of money? Hell, not even a rich baby mama. Oh man, you're one sad mother. Well, you know what time it is. Hit the block and make that hustle. Get in the kitchen and start cooking that work. Make sure to chop it up real nice like, you know how your customers hate seeds. I bet that smells like heaven. Mm -mm -mm. Look at all that good stuff. You should be able to get two stacks for those pills alone. You'll have so much money, you'll be able to buy 18 high-end graphics cards. Hooray! Now go and sell that work, dog. Welcome back, Larry Hoover. How many dead presidents did you make? Wait, what? Two hundred and fifty dollars? That whole stash is easily worth around ten or fifteen thousand. Oh man, you really suck at hustling. I think this is one job you should stay out of. Because you suck ass. Yes, you should feel sad. Because that's just embarrassing. Oh well. We can still get you a pretty good video card for $250. Come on, let's go and look online. 
Step 2. After you have gotten all of your money situated, it's time to check out the different sites and see what card you can get for the best amount of money. As we all know, there are dozens upon dozens of good sites selling video cards. For practicality, we are using Newegg.com. When it comes to purchasing items offline, it always comes down to research, research, research. Make sure to go all over the web and read up on which item might be best for you. In this case, we are buying video cards. And I know what video card might be best for you because I am evil like that. Hey, look at that. It's a Radeon 6850. This card has very good performance at a very affordable price. Now place the order and the card should be on its way. No free advertisement here AMD. Now give me my money, bitches. Four days have passed. And oh looky here, your package has arrived. Now open that box like there's fried chicken inside. Look at that box art. It's very awesome and very sexy. Wait, what are you doing, Ween? I don't even... Uh, moving on. Let's open her up and take a look at what's inside. Ew. Are those instructions? Good job. Now that's one pretty looking video card. Step 3. Installing the video card. Before installing any hardware into your computer, you must make sure you are grounded. I suggest you use the wrist strap or touch the metal inside your computer so it can disperse the electricity built up in your body. You wouldn't want any accidental static shocks to your computer system, or it might destroy your hardware and you will be SOL. Now then, carefully remove the side panel from your computer. Unplug hardware or case fans if necessary. Next, locate the old video card inside of your computer and remove it. You will more than likely need a Phillips head screwdriver to do so, as seen here. Now that you have the old video card out of your computer, you can throw that shit away. Now it's time to install the new video card. But first, a little preparation to the case before we do so. When it comes to these new video cards nowadays, they tend to take up more than one PCI slot. So you might need to remove an extra slot to fit your new video card in it. Like so. If it doesn't come off easily, just get a good grip and twist it back and forth like a rabbit dog. Now it's time to install the new video card. Put the video card inside of the PCI Express slot and make sure it is seated well into the slot. 
Next, you will need two screws to screw the graphics card in place. Most of the time, graphics cards do not come with these screws, so you might have to buy some or look around the place to see if you have extras. Now you're done. It's safe to put the computer back together and plug everything up. Hook your monitor to the graphics card and head over to the graphics card manufacturer site and download the latest drivers. Whoopity doodah, you did it, fat boy. Now you can stay recluse and play video games hours upon in at faster and smoother frame rates. Aren't you happy? Now have fun, you rapscallion.